Hello there, and welcome to the next episode of our Croatian Legion campaign in Gravity Team Tactics Mius Front. Now, in the last episode, we have started this eventful battle. We have taken some heavy casualties while we assaulted this forest here because an enemy platoon with AT guns decided to set up in this area. And we are now assaulting the village Popov here. Where once again we have taken some losses due to enemy trenches in front of the village and enemy mortars. Enemy mortars have been the bane of our existence in this battle so far. They have done an incredible amount of damage to my infantry, especially an enemy mortar battery that is um, placed in that forest back there. I don't think we'll be able to take them out though. We have taken quite heavy losses. So, yeah, it's not ideal. It's really not ideal. Now I want this machine gun set up here, please. And these forces can start to attack towards this position. While the other platoon... Yeah, they are still moving. Okay. And there we go, we are continuing the battle. Very soon our artillery support will start to come in. Actually, by the way, artillery support, the wire link for this mortar battery of ours that we have back here has been set up. Let's see if... Yes. Oh yes. So we do have a mortar battery all the way back there. Two 8cm mortars. The battery commander is here and he has a wire link set up all the way through this tree line back to this little commander here and he will relay the firing instructions from that guy to these mortars so i hope that we can get the coordinates zeroed in pretty soon However, it doesn't look like it will be anything fast. This guy doesn't seem to have good vision on this area, unfortunately. The enemy is still shelling us. Damn you. Yeah, okay, this is not working. Let's see if we can maybe set up somewhere else. Maybe all the way back here. Enemy contact. Okay, what's this? An enemy patrol out here in the open. They are not moving towards me, however. They are moving towards... Yeah, towards Odinsov here, I believe. I think that's fine. I will not open fire on them. Artillery strike. Okay, our artillery preparation for the assault on Popov begins. Can you maybe target this trench? Uh, well, now you can't due to the smoke. Uh, that could be a reason. Okay. Why we couldn't see anything. My smoke screen will now start to deploy in the field. Actually, hello voyages guys. Please hold for a moment. Don't continue. Otherwise, you might get hit by our own artillery. That would not be ideal. They are pushing the enemy back towards the village, which is good. Okay, there's our smoke screen. And our mortars are laying down some suppressive fire. Okay, Hrdvoic, you guys can now... You can now start to advance. Assault. Assault in the line formation. Go. We will use the smoke screen and move up. Let's 
let's let's have a good look at this. This is amazing. This is indeed amazing. Okay, let's turn this back on so that we can see what's happening. I think this is going well. I think this is actually going well. This enemy mortar back here is being fired upon by our machine gun. So these guys are getting demolished. Yeah, take that, you and your stupid mortars. Okay. My forces are pushing in. This guy is a little bit too eager, I believe. The enemy is offering a ceasefire. We are taking captives. Soviet soldiers are starting to surrender. Another smoke screen is coming down right in front of the village now. This is certainly going well. I'm happy with our progress. Maybe I should start to move up this gun here. Just move it up the road, maybe to here, so that it can better support in dealing with any enemies that might try to retreat. But I won't move it now while we have this critical phase of our assault happening. Yeah, there comes the smoke screen. Let's have another look at this. I crossed the enemy trenches. He with his pistol. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome. Good job. Absolutely great. I love this. I love this. It is amazing when a plan comes together and works. Let's see how are we doing with losses. Yeah, the attack force lost seven men so far and they had these losses I think before they started to the move across the open ground here. So they are doing well. They are actually doing well. We have a flanking force in position here that can continue to move up. We seem to have even more enemy mortars all the way back here. 
these guys just don't give up. My gun is still trying to deal with the enemies. Awesome. Yeah, this enemy position is pretty decimated. Yes, I have taken some losses during this battle, but I think the enemy has taken significantly more than I have. Okay, now I think I can move Hildewoich's force up into the houses. You guys assault this building here. And then afterwards set up a defense there. No, 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 no. Uh, I misclicked. First assault, then set up a defense. You guys, you are all the way up there. You will do the same thing here. Oh, wait, didn't want to do that. Yeah, you guys assault here and afterwards set up a defense. You will do the same thing here. Assault, set up defense. And you guys... Assault, set up defense. Yeah, that works. At the same time, continue moving up the machine guns into a position from where they can continue to suppress the enemy. I think we can move them into the old enemy positions. That should work out just fine. Move to there. But the enemy is so uh, the enemy defense it's breaking apart here. It's really breaking apart. My guys are about to get into the houses. And once they do that it's over. Oh, 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 I did not see this in time. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Erzegovic, the machine guns. The machine gun blocking force. Uh, you are free to open fire. Cut them down. Yeah, I've already taken losses. Unfortunately. Come on, get the machine gun singing, please. I've let the enemy come close. That was a mistake. I hope we can remedy this. But we should be fine. I think we should be fine. The machine gun should deal with them. Up here, this squad. Move up. Uh, without that. Okay. More enemy positions all the way back here. Can I get eyes on them for my mortar battery? No, I didn't want to do that. That was the wrong move. God damn it. You. Can you see those guys? Can you see this position and get some water fire onto it? Please? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Alright then. Can maybe my spotter see those guys? Not really. He can see... No, he can't even see the road all the way back here. Where exactly is he? Ah, he's here on this side. Okay, that's why he can't see anything. Uh, please get out onto this side. That would be a little bit more useful. 
And I think my anti-tank gun should start to move up on this road. Start moving the gun up. Machine guns. Yeah, please set up where I told you to. The enemy mortars are shelling me again. Not a pleasant thing at all. Uh, okay, we have enemies in this house here. It will be cleaned out. Uh, voyage. where is your platoon command? It's all the way back there. Move it up to this position. And move the 5 centimeter mortar up as well. It could come in handy. Looks like we have... We have lost our machine gun here. Oh, damn it. They must have gotten a grenade off. Oh, no. Okay, one machine gun down. Still, we do have forces here that can stop the enemy. And more machine guns. So we should still be fine, but damn it. That was not supposed to happen. Ah oh, well, too much stuff happening at once. Okay, what about... What about my mortars here? Can we get a good firing solution onto these enemy positions? Well, we can get a good firing solution here, apparently. For some reason. But we can't get it here. Oh, there we go. Like so. That is actually decent enough. I think we'll take that. How many mortar shells do we have left? 90. Um, give me 5 per gun. I don't think 5 per gun will be enough, but it's a start. Okay, forces are retreating. These guys have apparently been hit quite heavily by something. And now they are deciding to get away from this, which is not good. How about you? You have taken some losses, but you have now taken up a position. That's good. You guys have taken losses. Yeah, I'm taking losses. Damn it. So many losses. So, so many losses. Ah, <sighs> Okay. Let's see. This squad... I believe can continue up the tree line. This squad here can continue towards this position. Actually, you guys set up a defense in this enemy position here. Should help us a little bit. you guys surrender? Who surrendered? Retreat. Capture. Yes. Oh, okay. Some of our guys surrendered. Oh, no. That's not acceptable. Okay. But I know you guys are already pretty depleted. Not these guys. These guys are still available. They are moving up the tree line. Okay. Not you. However, you are available. Attack this house. We need to take that. Damn it, I'm losing too many men. Artillery strike down here. No, 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 not here. There! Ah, well, it will get more accurate over time. The 
the Soviets are still losing a lot of men. <sighs> still a lot of enemies back here. I don't know if this is sustainable, to be honest. I have taken so many losses. So, so many. Vrebats, what about your platoon commander? Let's get him up here into this position. And let's get your 5 cm mortar up here as well. What about you guys? You can stay like that. Sure. Back here we are shooting at some Soviets. Don't know exactly where they are. I guess they are in these trees here. I doubt they will get through. Even if they do... I kind of don't want these guys to allow to fire, because if I lose them, that would be bad. However, I think they can support the enemy. Uh, support our forces here against the enemy. Now, at this point, really, what I can do is to take the village. And that will be about all I can do. Let's see if we can get some mortars down here. Apparently we can, yes. The battery commander can see this area. So we'll start to call in some of our mortars. Let me try something. Let's do the following. Will this work? Not really. Okay, let's, let's have it then on this position. Better than nothing. And we can then walk the fire to this side. The enemy is being a real pain in the ass here in the village. He's holding on to it. Ah, it looks like my T gun is in position finally. So it will start to blast the enemy. You guys, I did order you to take up defenses, didn't I? So please all get in there. Okay, I need forces to sweep through the village. Easier said than done. Where do I take these forces from? These guys are still relatively okay. So I will take them for an attack onto this building as well. Back here, yeah, we are still holding back these Soviets. And my mortars are finally firing. These rounds are landing all the way back here. We'll now take this mortar fire and we will shift the position of it just slightly. And now the battery commander can use these coordinates that we already bombarded as a reference point to shift the mortar fire to this area and hit these enemy mortars. really hard. We will make them pay. A 
It's over now. We are taking this. Okay. My mortar rounds are landing. We will now sh once again shift the fire to make sure that we get this mortar as well. Just walk the fire across the enemy's position. Hand grenade fighting. Oh, there's even more enemy positions back here. Damn them. That's what's causing me trouble, isn't it? More enemy positions directly behind the village. You guys are annoying. Yeah, back here as well. Okay, I don't have to take those necessarily. That would be nice, but it's not... 100% necessary. I just need the village in my position. My mortar strikes are doing quite a number onto the enemies. Nice. Okay. That's enough. Oh, that looked like a more or less direct hit into the mortar pit. They are feeling this. I can guarantee you that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's have a look. Damn, my force is so depleted. This machine gun is suppressing this house. There's still enemies inside. And we have forces moving up, trying to get... ...into these houses. Let's hurry them up a little bit. Popov is considered to be mine, actually. I could take the ceasefire now. Do I want to, though? That's the big question, right? I don't think I do yet. Still enemies back here. I have nothing to get rid of them, do I? I could use... No. I could use these guys, but it would not be ideal. Maybe I pull back one of these squads. Do we have one that is not completely destroyed? Yes, yeah, this one. This is the strongest one, in fact. It's still intact. So I want to leave it up here, I think. These guys, six guys, they should be able to clean up this mess here. Uh, let's have them march along the roads. But get a move on. And then afterwards... March up here. And then we'll see what we do. Afterwards. The enemies are trying to break through here, I don't know why. Maybe they are trying to get at my mortars. Now these guys could try to do something as well. They could try to advance up here. Let's actually do that. I don't want to wait for that squad back there. That could take too long. I think the enemy is pretty well suppressed, so try to advance if at all possible. And don't get yourself killed, please. Okay, some enemies out here in the open. What about this machine gun? Can he see them, maybe? Where did you set up? Here. That's a good position. Okay, under fire. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, the squad gets back here immediately. We're having an enemy incursion into our forest here. They are trying to get that back. Okay, this squad counterattack. Counterattack immediately.
Oh, that's bad. Counter attack immediately. Okay, this is getting interesting again. The enemy is trying things. Can we... Can we get rid of this house here, please? Because there seems to be an enemy inside that's making trouble. Go get it. Yeah, look at this. Enemy incursion into the forest. However, they... I think they didn't expect this amount of resistance that they are now facing. And they are being pretty suppressed by hand grenades and rifle fire. Can somebody see this guy? Get him out of here. There you go. Good job. Yeah, we have to clean this forest. We'll do that, no problem. Up here we apparently still have enemies. Enemy contact. All the way back here behind the village. That's fine, they are retreating. These guys are running away. They have been pushed out of the village. And it looks like the village is... more or less secured, finally. That's good. You guys are still pretty much intact. You. I want you to just sweep the houses. Make sure that nobody else is inside here. And now we will have to figure out how we will deal with this here. How many enemies did infiltrate this forest? I don't know. But... Yeah, this is how they did it. They probably snuck through this little gully here. And then went up here and right into the tree line. No chance to spot them in time. Uh, retreating. Who is retreating? Why are you guys retreating? We are retreating to here. Yeah, okay. I guess you were a little bit far forward, so that's fine. Apropos far forward, let's move my gun forward on the road one more time. And let's also use these machine guns. Move them up to here. That machine gun there. And where's the other one? Over here. Let's move it to here. Are there still enemies up here? We are advancing here very slowly with the squad. And the enemy should be truly and well suppressed. So my guess is grenades will soon start flying. And then we'll have them. Oh, and here I thought when I capture Popov, the battle is over. 
but <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> oh no, 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 this forest here really surprised me. It really did. And we have still enemies moving among our troops. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Good job. <laughs> Did you hear that? Finally, my Iron Cross. No, I don't think you get an Iron Cross for knocking down an enemy. I'm not sure that's how it works. Commander killed. Damn it! That's what I wanted to avoid. He got himself killed. Ah, the platoon commander of the machine gun platoon got himself killed. And yeah, we are now in hand grenade range. Retreat? Who is retreating? Why are you guys retreating? Don't retreat. Well, I guess your morale is quite shattered due to the losses that you have sustained and due to your whole platoon being basically worthless at this point. Unfortunate, yes. Very unfortunate. But it looks like we finally have secured pop off completely. Yeah, this unit has moved through the village. No further enemies were spotted. So at this point I'll just have them set up a defense here. And that should be it. pop off is in our hand. Now do I have to send in reinforcements to the forest over there? And where to take them from? Ah, damn it. I mean, I still have... I really should have moved this command forward together with the mortar. However... It might actually come in handy now. That I didn't do it. Yeah, we'll need some forces to secure the forest. No way around that. Guys, start moving over here. And bring your 5cm mortar with you. To here. Get a move on, please. Still enemies inside the forest. It will take some time to clean it. Enemy contact. Where now? Okay, all the way back here. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Damn it, we still have enemies apparently among our troops. It's okay though. It's okay. He'll get his due. He can't get out of here. So, what now? Hmm. <laughs> Pogacic. Where are you guys moving to? You guys are moving to there. Why though? Oh, you were retreating, right, okay. Here we have a squad that can be used. And I will use them. You guys, get up here. Actually, double line, please. Get up here. Then move into this forest. Look at him. He's not having a great time. Okay, continue. Maybe we'll get him to surrender. There we go. Hand grenade out. Sure. Oh, he's throwing hand grenades too. No, no, can't have that. Oh, 
I don't think we got it now. I think those were the last enemies inside this forest. Just to make sure, assault this position, please. And we did spot something. Okay. What is that? A truck. So there's a truck parked inside of that thing. Yeah. Just a truck. That's reassuring. But once again, we neither have the force nor the time to assault the enemy mortars. That's not gonna happen today. In fact, the mission timer has almost run out. We just let it run out now. And then the mission will be over. And our attack will have been successful. Oh my god, that was... That was some serious hard fighting here. I'm curious to see what losses we took, all in all, and compare that to the enemy. I think the enemies took quite some serious losses as well. However, the enemy mortar barrage on this force, damn, that hurt. That did really hurt. There we go, battle results. All right. So, we did suffer 89 casualties and the enemy suffered 173 so at least they suffered double our casualty numbers a lot of them were killed a lot of my guys were heavily wounded four guys went missing i believe those were captured by the enemy 30 wounded damn we lost one one vehicle oh that was the machine gun okay that we lo uh, that we did lose earlier. Okay, let's have a quick look at the battlefield here. So we actually did manage to capture this area. That's great. That's great. So the sorry remains of our platoon uh, of our company will be able to move into this. And they really are sorry remains of a company. Damn. All because of these guys. Four mortars. I think those are most likely 82mm mortars. Yeah, 82mm mortar. These things are evil. Ah, damn it. But at least the enemy has suffered some serious casualties as well. We have... We have... I don't know how many we defeated, but it was a fair number, I think. Most of the enemy force that was holding the village has been wiped out. Let's have a quick look. Regimental HQ. So we did not see the commander, but some elements of the regimental HQ were in the village here. Maybe we did kill the commander at some point, who knows. And a T-gun company... Okay, artillery battery battery commander. He must have been calling in stuff, maybe. Hmm. Mortar battery command killed. That's how I like it. Kulikov. Yeah, a lot of that, guys. Some sorry survivors. Mortar mortar platoon. Oh, those are those guys inside the trees here. The enemy had quite a nice force. Second mortar platoon. They have all been soundly defeated around the village. Prokatov, what are you? SMG company. Command. Yeah, they had one gun that has been abandoned. Trotsky, a T-gun platoon. With a few guns. Ah, those were the guys that were set up here. <laughs> Look at this gun. Uh... It was shot at a lot. <laughs> it's damaged now. I have to check in the statistics if we captured anything. Uh, this mortar could be repaired by the enemy. Okay, but I don't think so because it's in my territory. I don't think they can recover it. Even though they have one survivor somewhere. Can I see where? No, he probably ran away. 
He's all the way back there. Okay. Rifle platoon. Yeah, the rifle platoon. They caused some issues up here at the village and in the forest. But that's fine. All in all, we got it. Let me see. Did we capture anything? We did indeed. Okay. Trucks and APC, two. Guns and machine guns, three. Can I see what exactly we captured? I don't think so. But we captured something. That might come in handy. That's good. Some achievements. Wow. Eliminated 10 enemy soldiers with a single squad. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I think with that we can take a look at the battle progress here in the statistics, but I don't think that's too interesting. Yeah, the enemy force strength dropped off during the battle. Their morale dropped off. We had consistently better statistics than they did. Okay, they only had more fuel, but uh, yeah, I didn't have any vehicles, so that's that. And with that, I think we will return to the operation. Okay. Battle group defeated, platoon defeated. So it looks like we defeated two enemy units. That's great, actually. That's really great. Oh, but contrary to what I thought, this company here that suffered so much... Oh, well, not a lot of guys left. This company won't be able to participate in the next battle up here. It will be only these three companies that will assault Odinsov. That will be a hard battle. Odinsov will be defeated by at least three enemy battle groups, with one further battle group here in, on the flank. So I will have to provide some flank protection here. And I will have to assault. I don't know if I can pull it off. We'll see. Anyway, Popov has been captured. The enemies have been pushed back or outright destroyed. We have taken heavy losses. But I think it was worth it in this instance. So, that shall be it enough for today. That was an interesting battle. Very hard fought. And quite interesting, I think. With a few very nasty surprises provided by our enemies. We will see what the next battle brings. Until then, have a great day and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.